found out that he was most likely bald, so he um, had that genetic predisposition to lose his hair. We could confirm some things, like he had uh, brown eyes, but we found out that the skin color is much darker than we thought. He had a very dark skin color, even darker than today South Europeans, like people from Andalusia or uh, Sicily, Sardinia, um, but not as dark as uh, people from Sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, on the other hand, we found out that he was most likely bald, so he uh, had the genetic predisposition to lose his hair. new sequencing technologies or the advancement of these technologies allows us also to look much more into detail, for example, in things like his, the composition of his microbiome. So we have been already studying some um, bacteria in his intestines, but we want to get the full picture because we know today from modern studies this, uh, the microbiome is very important for our health, for allergies, uh, for our diet. And we want to explore whether there may be differences between him and our modern population. And I think these technologies can help to also dig into this much deeper. Mm -hmm.